a cool tech for the katana. I hope it's throwing it away because I don't like it. <laughs> It is not my day. Dead cells. Again, it's not my day in Dead Cells. How did I die in the first area? Ah. Uh, we'll beat DC3, though. Yeah, what's the cool tech? I'll get it again, eventually. Oh, my God. Peanut butter is disgusting. Sag, I know. Almond butter, peanut butter. Almond butter. You can charge the charge slash the right. And right before we go off, you jump or dodge. The next time you charge it, it'll be nearly instant. I don't need to try that if I ever find it again. No, in my luck, the katana will be right there for me. So jump right before you let it go. You're all about that nut butter. Mm hmm. There it is. Do we have anything better, though? We have a baseball bat. Is it time? We have a baseball bat. Welcome back, Brendan. We have a baseball bat. This is honestly the best one. Look at that. Brutality! Snap back to reality. Oh, there goes brutality. Snap back to reality. Oh, there goes brutality. Oh. We got a kebab early on. Spreads inflammable oil. You know, I kind of like what I have. Gotta get some Legolas. The Legolas has not worked for me. Haven't had any luck with the Legolas this time around. Haven't had any luck with anything, really. But I think I've just been playing too fast. So this is the run where we take it nice and slow. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And we have a nice, good old time. We're gonna take it nice and slow. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You should not have hit me there. I'm just gonna admit it. You shouldn't have hit me there. Well, we already made it to the toxic sewers. Are you kidding me? We're going way too fast. was kind of nice have i seen the game two room it's a roguelike kind of like gungeon but you play as a cute little bunny nope i've never even heard of it until you said it is it fun
Also, hi, bun. It looks fun. It's on Steam. It looks fun. Dude, are you kidding me? Oh my god! Ugh. Take your time with a brutality build, Dylan. You can do this. Take your time with a brutality build. Brutal Don't go survival. You rely on survival too much. Take your time with a brutality build. Maybe go survival, because we already got two. Take your time with a brutality build. Reality can work. Suck. Just suck. Do this. Think of it this way. Ugh. It's also multiplayer. How much is it? Eleven U.S. dollars. Hmm. I'll have to look at it. Get the hell out of here, you son of a gun! This is the one. I already can smell this one. Did you see that great parry on him? Yeah, I destroyed him. Okay, that time it was a bad parry, but you know. Ow. One Piece Odyssey, it's not in your real house of genres. We're wondering if you're playing it off stream. It apparently has spoilers because it goes up to the arc that I haven't watched to. So I probably will not be playing it off stream until I watch more of One Piece. But I do want to play it. I do definitely want to play it. As a One Piece fan. Oh, I got such a good parry off on him. Maybe I should be parrying more often. We're gonna go nice and simple this run. Play it on Burgle. But Bun, what about the new exclamation mark schedule we might try out? That would alleviate in the burgle time. Or cut into it, I should say. Have to use another flask. Everything is hitting me right now. I don't even know what I want. Jesus, man. <sighs> yeah, give me, give me, give me a bomb. I don't even know what weapon I want to build with, to be honest. Crowbar. I'll take a crowbar over the oiled sword. I'm not dropping the shield because the parries have actually kind of saved me. Not yet dropping it, at least. New schedule. What would you do between three to seven? Chill. Just chill. Maybe make dinner at like five or something. 
That would be a really early dinner, would it not? That would be a really early dinner. I wonder if Purr has seen this. Is he naked? Love me some Zoro. I love me... You know, I try to get muscles just like Zoro. That's the my main motivation. When I'm at the gym, I have a photo of Zoro on my phone, always ready. And then I just... It's Zoro without a shirt on, of course. And I'm just like, man, I can do that too. I can do that. If he can do it, I can do it. How lord? How lewd? Have you seen Zoro? You help if that hit me up? Do you try? Do you try to uh, also look like Zoro from One Piece? He is quite handsome. Gotta be kidding. Me. You look better. Damn! Better than Zoro? I don't know. He's got a sexy scar on his eye. That's kind of hard to beat that sexy scar. Scars can be pretty hot. Do you do have a scar on your eye? Failed in a stairway when skating when you were 16. Oh my god, you do have a scar? Oh, Jesus. I actually believe you now. How do you get your scar? You only have stretch marks. Does that count? I mean, technically, maybe. You have a scar on your finger and your knee. Am I sexy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys are all... Yo, you guys are all so sexy. Oh, my God. You guys and your scars. I have a scar on one of my pinkies. A tiny little scar from when I worked in a restaurant and I sliced the tip of my pinky off. It, it left a tiny little scar. It's very unnoticeable unless you really look. But I sliced the tip of my pinky off when I was at work. Your girlfriend has a big scar on her belly from surgery she had when she was a baby and all I gotta do is, And I do gotta say when she wears like a crop top and shit, it looks pretty hot. <laughs> you see? Scars are sexy. They can be. You have a scar on your eyebrow and cheek, but you can barely see it. You can barely see it. I think I have a scar near my eyeball as well. Because one time when I was a kid, when I was growing up in my, uh, in the home where my parents lived together still before my mom moved out, we had a play set. Like a little tiny little, like, little, uh, little, little tiny playground that you could buy yourself, you know? And it had, like, two swings on it and everything. And looking back on this... Looking back on it, in this situation, I might have been close to dying. But, uh, I'm pretty sure this is where I got this random, like, tiny little scar in my eye. One day, I was swinging without holding on to... I was swinging without holding on to the handles because I was a kid. And I was going really high up. And at one point... I went up, and then I went back over that way. And on the way back up, I fall off the swing and just fall straight to the ground right near a fence. I was super close 
to impaling myself on a fence because I had a fence that had little tiny wooden spikes on it, but it was like six feet tall. So, you know, no one's gonna get hurt on that unless an idiot on the swing is going super high up and falls off the swing. So I almost got impaled as a child. And then my mom came running out and she was like, oh my God, my baby. Uh, but yeah, I think that's where I got a scar in my eye. A few scars from when you lost 95% of my skin. What? That is a scary thing. An allergic reaction, the medication, that's the one time you don't want an allergic reaction. What's up, Dark Magician? How you doing? Yeah, I shaved. Oh my god, I can't do anything. You have you also have a bump on your forehead from when you fell into a basketball pole in fourth grade and a giant scar on your back because of surgery. Oh my god, you all have such gruesome stories. What about me? I'm getting my ass handed to me in BC3. What up, Koyax? Yeah, Koyax. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How you doing? You have a scar for an appendix that shows up in the airport x-ray things. You get patted down every time. <laughs> you get patted down because of a scar. <laughs> you got hit by a car while cycling? That's kind of scary. That's kind of scary. The guy in dead cells? Oh yeah, this guy. Our scars are nothing compared to this guy. Something in your heart didn't close that should when you're born. That is terrifying. When I, The only thing that happened to me when I was born was I had a goddamn... I had the umbilical cord wrapped around my neck. I was trying to leave this world the second I got in it. second I got in this world, my body was like, nope, we ain't doing this. No way. You were born prematurely and stuck in a pod? I was born like a week early, but I'm, that's considered premature. I actually like this weapon. Believe it or not, I like the rapier. Two and a half weeks? Dude, the only thing that should be two and a half is men. Men, 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 men. You had a severe cone head when you were born. It was so bad that a couple looked at me through the window in the hospital while your mom was standing there and said, Oh my God, that baby, that ugly baby. <laughs> oh my God, it's Hey Arnold. I don't think Hey Arnold was around when you were born though. You were the inspiration for Hey Arnold. Oh my God, Jefferino, you should probably sue them. Made her cry? Oh no, it made your poor mother cry. I mean, to be fair, most babies are pretty fucking ugly. Nothing to be ashamed about. They get a little cuter as time goes on, but usually when they're fresh out that womb, they're pretty fucking ugly. <laughs> no offense. No, no offense to the babies in the chat. Don't want to offend you, of course. Most ugly babies turn into Giga Chats as they get older. That explains so much about me. You ran against the doorframe and broke your collarbone when you were a kid? Ooh, that reminds me of the time I hit my hand off a table 
after dinner, I was running to play Team Fortress 2 on my PC. Hit my hand off a table. Off the dining table. Because I didn't want to get kicked out of my TF2 lobby. And I broke part of my hand. And of course, I had to get a cast on it. And everyone... I was a senior in high school at the time. The amount of masturbation jokes I had to go through. It's like, oh, you broke part of your right hand. Oh, what were you doing? Oh, oh, oh. It's like, dude, I ran into... I mean, I mean... Yeah, dude, I was totally jerking it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it was a lot, a lot more embarrassing saying, Oh, no, I, I hit my hand off a table trying to get back to my video game. Mom says you were a cute baby. <laughs> Shit, I got some bad news for you. School? Ew. No, that was high school. Senior year in high school. And guess what? I still went to work at the restaurant. Because I was working at a restaurant at the time. I still went to work with a cast on and did everything fine. My boss was like, do you need to take time off? I'm like, nah, I'm good. I need money. I'm, I'm 18. I need money. Or I'm 17. I don't know how old I was. I think I was 18 at the time. I might have been 17, actually. I can't remember. I don't think my life had gone to shit yet, so I was 17. My boss also let me work fryers when I was 17, even though I think it was technically illegal. <laughs> I, think you had to be, I think you had to be 18 to work a fryer. But my boss was just like, whatever. And I remember in culinary class, because I was like the only senior in the culinary class, I always got to work the fryer. Because I was 18. Say 17, it's more badass. Oh, yeah. Nothing more badass than a 17-year-old working at a chicken restaurant. Sliced your thumb once and it bled everywhere, so I cleaned it up, wrapped it up with, with towels, and worked the rest of the shift. Dude, that happened to my pinky! I sliced the tip of it off. It bled the rest of the shift, but I couldn't leave because it was only me and one other guy working. So I had to work three hours with a bleeding pinky and constantly replace the goddamn a towel around it and like put all these band-aids on it while still working a whole damn restaurant shift. It was great. That's where I have one tiny little pinky scar. You can't really see it, but it's there. If you really look at my pinky, you can be like, oh, there is a scar there. Just like one time I burned part of my hand on the inside of a fryer. I was going to shut it off when it was busy. It was a busy, it was a busy day at the restaurant. So, you know, we were trying to get everything done and we were understaffed because we're a restaurant. Restaurants are always understaffed. And, um, I was going to shut the fryer off because we needed to clean it. And I bumped my hand up and hit the inside of a fryer, which is like 10 times hotter than the fryer itself at 350 degrees. Or 375 degrees, I can't remember what it was. But it's a lot hotter than the fryer itself. And I like, oh man, that was absolutely brutal. I, I literally doused the, the burn spot in honey and put a band-aid over it. Because it was so bad. I'm surprised that didn't leave a mark. Maybe it did. Did it leave a mark? I don't think it did, actually. I'm surprised it didn't. Honey? Yeah, honey! For some reason, my stupid ass thought honey would make it better, and it actually kind of did. I'm not gonna lie, the honey actually soothed the, the pain. The pain of a bad burn. I don't think scientifically it makes any sense, but... My 18-year-old or 19-year-old brain at the time was like, honey is working. I'm just going to keep slathering it on.
Honey on burns is a thing. Is it actually? That's good. Because I've done it. <laughs> and it worked. But I obviously haven't worked in a restaurant in... Wow, I quit my restaurant job over five years ago. Over five years ago, I quit my restaurant job. Huh. That's when I, that's when I decided to try to go pro in Overwatch. And then I realized I hate shooter games and hated scrimming. And then I was just like, all right, let's be a full-time streamer and give this a shot. And I almost gave up on that because it wasn't really going well and I needed money. But then I kind of hit a, like a little... I hit a, like a little positive bump in Overwatch and that allowed me to keep it going. And now here we are. So Overwatch is the reason why I'm a full-time streamer because it popped off for me a little bit when I needed it to. Ooh. Donatello outfit. I'd rather not have a fucking weapon. Oh! That was almost horrible. Why did I stop playing Overwatch? I hated it. My stream was dying because I wasn't enjoying the game and I felt forced to play it because I built a big community based around it. And then ever since then, I told myself to never stream a game because it gives me good viewership if I'm not happy with it. Burr's career really took off when people got pissed that Isaac was only a B-tier roguelite. <laughs> yeah, that took off my YouTube career. It's honorable. I mean, if I'm doing a dream job and, you know, my favorite thing in the world is playing video games and my job is based around it, I might as well play games that I like doesn't make sense to play a game that you hate just because you get a little bit of extra viewerships if it negatively affects your mental health and all that. If you like playing the same game all day, great! Do it! If you hate playing the same game all day, stop doing it! It's that simple. You don't know what's gonna happen if you stop playing said game. Uh, it's getting there, Kalasar. Every day, it's still getting a few thousand views. Every once in a while, it pops off and gets like 10,000 views. I think it's at like 850,000, maybe. It's definitely getting there. You agree with it being B tier, but now that I'm really into it, it has to be S tier? I need to play it more. I, need, I just need to play it more still. I still haven't played Isaac enough. Once I play Isaac more, I can justify myself making a new tier list. Because I said I would give Gun I would give Gungeon and Isaac both a new ranking. Gungeon, I have definitely feel like I have earned the right to talk about Enter the Gungeon. Because Gungeon I have played for goddamn 120 hours. I have almost every achievement. Gungeon is definitely an S tier game. Good timing on that chicken wing. Uh, sacrifice 30 spinners your maximum up to 2% of your HP for melee attack and speed boost for 10 seconds. I'm kind of tempted to try vampirism, but I hear it sucks, so I'm not going to take it. Hey, Brother Isaac, Afterbirth is good. 
Yeah, I, I, I think Isaac is a good game. I put it in B tier, not F. <laughs> I put it in B tier, not F tier, you know? Like, I definitely think it's a good game. I just haven't played it enough. That's the one I'm going to play Christmas. Also, hey, Christmas. This ain't going too bad, to be honest. This ain't going too bad. I think this is definitely our best run so far of the day. Hi, Christmas. I hope you're well. The rapier is definitely popping off. The one I can't say. I don't speak French. If it's in any tier other than S, people are going to throw a fit. I mean, no matter what you do on anything ever, people are going to be upset. That's the shitty thing about tier lists. The great thing about tier lists, they bring easy views. And if you make a good tier list, like a good video tier list, people that actually have logic in their brain can understand that other people have opinions and you'd be like, oh, this is a well-made video. They don't have the same game opinions, but it's still a well-made video. But like, I've had people be like, Sifu's not actually a roguelike streamer. Oh my God, how could you put this game in eight? It's just like, God, who gives a fuck? I only reply to the comments that are nice. That's what I've started doing. Want me to reply? Post something nice. Maybe I'll reply to you then. Yours is one of the S tier ones. Aw, oh, thanks. Like, regardless of game opinions and how many hours I had in certain roguelites at the time, I still think it's a good made video. I'll agree that in terms of game time for a lot of them, it's not really that good. But in terms of editing and all of the good stuff, it's actually phenomenal. We still be mean in Twitch chat? Yeah, I don't care. Just don't be mean to each other. If you're going to be mean, be mean to me. Not to each other. Out of three BC runs going, I'm getting my ass handed to me. Yeah, Tracer, people are way too serious. People take their Binding of Isaac very seriously. I will say, I think Enter the Gungeon is an S-tier game after playing it for 115 hours. Alex, those were, they were those type of comments as well. It's like, you didn't actually have a single roguelike in here. And did you know that roguelites are actually from the 1984 game Rogue? Now, there's not any actual traditional roguelites anymore. None that were in this video. But if you want a traditional roguelike game, you got to play a bunch of games that nobody's ever fucking heard of that nobody wants to play. Uh, but, you know, find the device. And it's just like, okay, dude, let's shut the fuck up. Okay, just shut up. No, why'd you type? Why'd you type out this useless fucking comment? Like, why'd you spend the time of your day to type this out? You think anybody actually gives a shit? No, nobody gives a shit. Nobody cares. I personally don't give a shit what the difference between a roguelite and a roguelike is. I don't care. And describe it. It's just like, oh my god. Gotta harvest the negative engagement. What do you mean harvest it? I already was controversial when I said binding of Isaac was B tier. I awoke in the, the bind that... Wait, what the hell? What the hell has a negative thing on it? What's making me do two times more damage? Oh, the laser. Oh, no, 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 no. Get rid of that. There, are, There's a tons of comments saying, hey, where's Hollow Knight on here? And then I'm um, just like, Hollow Knight's not a roguelite. I'm not going to put Hollow Knight's an S-tier game. I'll say that, but it's not a roguelite. Ugh. 
Hollow Knight's another game I want to do another playthrough of before... When, if Silk Song ever gets a release date, I want to play Hollow Knight a little bit before Silk Song comes out. You know, get myself ready for Silk Song. Undertale is S tier, dude. I think Undertale is not even that good. When I play, yeah, I would say it's a B tier game, but if you stream it, it becomes a D tier game because of the shitty community that it has. The nice people in the community just chill there and lurk while you play, but then you get all these like random twenty year olds for some reason that are like, "Hey, did you know? Hey, did you know this?" And it's just like, "Oh, dude, you're so insufferable. Can you shut up, please?" Like, the best I'll give Undertale is B tier. That's the best I can give Undertale. Ay, ay, ay. I don't want that. Nobody hates you for loving Undertale. No, I don't hate you. Love whatever you want. It's just more so... When I streamed Undertale, I had I had to have a temporary mod ban like five people. You don't want to play it again? I don't want to play it again either. <laughs> I played it and beat... I wanted to be done with Undertale so badly that I beat it in one stream. It was only okay. Lucky, brilliant. That's the first time we heard that alert. Bloody brilliant. Lutty, a brilliant Miranda Mia, thanks for gifting a sub to Dark FGBR. Hey, Miranda Mia, how are you doing? You don't know what's Undertale? Undertale is one of the most popular indie games of all time, made by Toby Fox. One of the most popular indie games of all time. It has a very dedicated community to it, and if you stream it on Twitch, they will be insufferable to listen to. Thank you, Miranda. Feeling pretty gross recently, taking a chill on my two days off. I will guarantee you and assure you, you are not gross. I appreciate your support, and I hope you can start... Get that self-confidence! You deserve it! If you're a king or a queen or a non-binary fiend, you have that self-confidence. Because you're all great. Hope things are doing well. I'm doing pretty good overall. I'm, I might test out a new stream schedule next week. Where I stream two times a day. Physically, you feel gross? Oh. Well, I'm sorry you feel gross physically. I hope you're not getting sick. Have I played cross code? I have not. I've done nothing but sit in this room and eat saltine crackers for the past three years. For, I guess, the past year and a half, for how long we've been in this apartment and play roguelites. I got into the roguelite genre only like a year ago, a year and a half ago. So I need to catch up on all the roguelike games that I missed out on because I was too busy, you know, playing too much Overwatch. Nice people from the other community are overhauled by the large amount of dickheads in it. I mean, isn't that everything on the internet ever? Everything on the internet. Like, there's... I think there's nice people in almost every single... Almost every single community. You can get good people from it. But the amount of overwhelmingly loud, annoying people will 
make it much more insufferable. I'll have to look in the cross code. It looks good. I do like pixel art. Any inscription fans here, by the way? And there's a game that has a fucking another community of passionate people behind it. Inscription. If you guys like Inscription, you will like the next four days on the Sleeping Bear Plays channel. I played Inscription for four hours yesterday. <laughs> I played four hours of inscription. And you have to watch the Let's Play channel to find out in the next few days. But I played it for four hours, and I will say I made progress. Did I beat Leshy? Just don't check my Steam achievements. So I got a kebab here. I will say, the next four days, I have inscription videos coming out on the Let's Play channel. The next four days at 3 p.m., I have an inscription video dropping on it. Deep Rock Galactic? I've actually heard really good things about Deep Rock Galactic. It's on my list of games to play. My endless list of games to play. My list never ends of so games to play. Like, I, I literally have content forever as a streamer. I have content forever as a streamer as a variety streamer that is i have games for days it's ridiculous i can't do it all there's just too many but i guess that's a good thing as well this is actually a pretty good run right now i got one flask so i guess it's not that good but I'm going to fight the concierge this time around. You don't have even one more game. You trying to get more games? Have you played Returnal? Have you played Sifu? Those are some good roguelites, but Returnal's a shooter, third person shooter, psychological horror roguelite. Sifu's a freaking fighter. Parents will be broke. I mean, Steam sales are our best friends. Steam sales are our best friends. I love the Steam sale. Yo, what's up, Madi? Darkest Dungeon's pretty good, too. Yo, Darkest Dungeon? That's like my favorite game of all time. I'm not even lying. That's actually like my favorite game of all time. Darkest Dungeon. I started playing Darkest Dungeon last year. Or er, I started playing Darkest Dungeon in 2021. And I actually... Well, I love Darkest Dungeon. I play it so much. It's one of my most streamed games. Oh, you can't beat Darkest Dungeon, man. You can't beat it. It's so perfect. Sifu looks kind of looks kind of cool. I don't know what I don't like about it. You play Sekiro before you play Sifu. But if you think it looks cool, I think you should give it an honest try, but then you still have to buy the game. You should give it an honest try. It's really hard, but it's definitely a rewarding game to play. I Sifu kicked my Sifu absolutely kicked my ass also. I've, I'm horrible at fighting games. A 
Bloodborne PC port. I think a lot of people want that. Darkest Dungeon narrator voice best in my opinion. Wayne June. Yeah, Wayne June does it well. I would love to commission Wayne June for stream alerts. I need to email him and be like, hey, you want to make some alerts for my Twitch stream? I will pay you money. I don't know, Alex. They're sl they slowly port PC stuff. They slowly port exclusives to PC. Horizon Zero Dawn's on PC. Uh, God of War 2018's on PC. Returnal's coming to PC. I think Returnal coming to PC is absolutely amazing. But also, those games... I don't remember when Bloodborne came out. I feel like if they were going to port Bloodborne, they would have probably done it by now. All right, we actually have a run, mate. We actually finally have a run. We finally have a run. I decided to go the safe route with this run. I wanted to go the safe route because I want to actually make some progress. Because I keep going DLC in like ancient sewers and that's not a good way if you're trying to win BC3. Took damage. Oh, I took more damage. Definitely took some damage there. Play it nice and slow. He'll bleed himself out, right? Oh, my God. What's up, Luna? How are you doing? I'm going to use this flask because I'm going to get one more, so I might as well. Jesus Christ. Inflict critical hits when dealing... Uh, dude, I kind of want to take the crowbar. Just so I get some health back. Just so I get some health back, but I feel like it might not be worth it. That's actually a better one. Does more damage to a bleeding target. Nah, I'm not gonna risk it. I feel like I'm just gonna get hit. I'm go- Ah, oh, maybe I should have risked it. There's a good amount of doors I can break here. HP back from the crowbar? Yeah, but it was two times damage as well. 40% of items will be plus plus quality. It's adrenaline. Melee attacks restore a small amount of HP depending on attack damage for five seconds after dodging an attack at the last moment. That seems actually kind of good. That actually seems kind of good. There's my one goddamn flask for the run. Fractured has a food shop. But so does, uh, this area. We'll go- we're not gonna go Fractured. We're gonna go Still Village. You're on Copium for Bloodborne and Silk Song at the moment? Silk Song will come. Hollow Knight Silk Song.
It'll come. And when it does come, everyone will be like, hey, remember when we were waiting for this game for so long? Six years? I don't know. I don't know how long Hollow Knight's been out. Or when they first announced Silk Song. I only played Hollow Knight a couple years ago. an idiot. Why would you do that? That's the one positive to playing the games a little bit later is you don't have to wait as long for the sequels. You know what I mean? Being a late bloomer on Hollow Knight, I don't gotta wait 12 years for a sequel. I gotta just wait a little bit longer for a sequel. Kind of tempted to get this, but I'm not going to. So I feel like the sword will actually be good. The Lords of the Fallen. Never heard of that one either. Holy moly. Okay, we need to find a shop. Like Ragnarok? Yeah. I played God of War 2018. What, like a month before Ragnarok came out? I didn't have to wait at all for God of War Ragnarok. I got it. In, I got it basically instantly. What up, Twitch account 204? How are you doing? Ten thousand. This could get me an extra flask. Am I cursed for... I need to defeat 20 enemies without taking damage. Okay. Fuck! Damn it! Oh my god! I'm an idiot! Why did I do that? Oh. 